Hey guys, I'm Gamer Mate. Welcome back to a new video. So I'm here back inside Roblox Studio, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing how to make a variant tycoon part 6. So let's get into the video. So as you can see, I've just changed a few things, like for GUI, for the cash, and also the sky. And what we're going to be doing is making it so once you have a tycoon, and then you quit, then it resets it back to the default. But before we do that, if we just click for tycoon, then drag it inside the Tycoon's folder, open it, go inside the script, main script, and one thing I forgot to do, so above this line here, where we change the text to say the owner's name, and then Tycoon, so above this, we need to do while, wait, two brackets, and then do, you should see a new end should appear, so if we just cut this line, or copy and paste, then paste it in between these. So this just changes the text back to default if someone leaves the game, or if the owner value gets updated. So once we've done that, if we go between these variables and this owner function, so go between them, make a quick note. So now what we're doing is going to make it so we can clone the tycoon, and to do that, just type in local tycoon clone equals to tycoon model colon clone two brackets then go down and type in tycoon clone dot parent equals the game dot replicate storage so what this does it just clones the tycoon model and then sets the parent to replicate storage if close it off now, go inside the server script service, click plus, add in a script, and now just rename the script to backup tycoon, like that, inside of it, and type in game, dot players, dot player removing, colon connect, two brackets, function, two more brackets, and then player. Then local tycoon folder equals game dot workspace dot tycoons and then go down and then type in 4i comma v in pairs brackets then tycoon folder colon get children two brackets and then do then type in if v dot values dot owner value dot value equals equals to player then go down and type in local tycoon clone equals to game dot replicate storage colon find first child brackets and then v dot name go down then type in v colon destroy two brackets go down Add in await and type in tycoon clone dot parent equals to tycoon folder like this. And that should be the script done. Close it off and to test it out, if you click play. So once we're in the game, claim the tycoon, then get a dropper. And because we have a dropper, if we go to the server and to do that, go up here to current client. And click it. So now we're in the server. And then go to view. Make sure you have the command bar up. Then go to this little bar and type in game dot players dot and then your username. So mine is it's gamer mate. Then colon kick two brackets and then click enter. And you can see once my player has been kicked. Then the tycoon shall reset and the text goes back to claim tycoon. Then go back inside the client and we have been kicked so we can leave. So you can see that the tycoon resets once you leave. Also I've updated the owner only door so if we click it you can see we use two separate scripts so we just delete those scripts. You don't have to but this script is better. So click model, add in a script, 
And this is going to be our main script for the door. So we've typed in local enabled equals to true. Then local lasers equals to script dot parent dot lasers. Then do the same for button. So local button equals script dot parent dot button. And then one for the owner value. So local owner value equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot values. So it should be three parents, but also dot owner value. Now if type in button dot click detector dot mouse click colon connect two brackets function two more brackets then if enabled equals equals true then enabled equals to false then lasers dot transparency equals to 0 0.8 and lasers dot can collide equals to false else they could just copy paste these so paste change this to zero change this to true and then enabled equals to true like this and that should be it for the button if you go down from this end and type in lasers dot touched and just scroll down so lasers dot touched colon connect function two more brackets and then go down new end should be a bracket also we need to type in hit in between these brackets then type in if hit dot parent colon find first child bracket speech marks and then humanoid then and now let's make a variable for a player and to do that type in local player equals game dot players colon get player from character two brackets then hit dot parent go down and type in if owner value dot value doesn't equals to player then and if enabled equals equals true then then type in hit dot parent colon find first child bracket speech marks and humanoid then outside of brackets type in dot health equals zero else return end and then we can just remove one of these ends and this should be the new script so if you want you can pause it and write it out so what we're doing is these are just variables and enabled equals true because the lasers are on so once the button has been clicked because it has a click detector then it checks if it's enabled and because it is then it sets it to false and if it's false then the lasers get set to transparent and can collide equals false so the players can walk through it and else means if it isn't enabled or enabled equals false then it sets the transparency to zero and can collide equals true so the player can cannot walk through them then this just makes sure it sets it to true so we know that the lasers are on and then this checks if the lasers have been touched and if it has and the player who touched it has a humanoid which they should then we get a variable for the player who touched the part which is hit.parent then it checks if the owner.value doesn't equals player so if the player isn't the owner and the lasers are true then it kills them by setting their health to zero and else return end just means that if you are the owner then it won't kill you so close it off and click play so once we're in the game and let me just quickly buy the owner door okay so once we have the door because i'm the owner big c if you touch it then we don't die and if we turn it on or off big c we can walk through it then if i just make myself not the owner okay so i just made myself not the owner and if we touch it big c then we die 
and then turn them off. You can see we can walk through it. And once again, we die if you touch it. So we click stop. So that's the updated owner door. Okay, so now I'm going to be building a map for the, um, the tycoons. So it isn't just a grey base plate. If you're over map, then you could just skip ahead. So first, I'm going to select the base plate. Change the size so it's a bit smaller. Like this. For some reason it's inside tycoon. So if you just drag it down a bit. Like this. And then I'm going to change colour to this green. And then on the base plate, I'm going to add in this texture. Like this. This just makes it so the grass isn't just plain. And I got this texture out of a texture pack. I think the texture was either made by Flame Dev Roblox or Dev for Hire. And they sell these um, texture packs for free. So this is where I got the texture from. And now I'm going to add in some things I made in Blender. Okay, so I just made these hills or mountains in Blender. I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on how to make these because I just followed a tutorial off YouTube. On how to make these which you can do the same i just made these and put them in a folder then i'm also going to add in some trees which i also made in blender following tutorials okay so here's the trees once again i'll follow the tutorial on how to make these you could do the same if you don't know how to use blender but i'll just put them around the map in the corners and once again put these in a folder too and if you just drag the tycoon over here a bit and delete the spawn. I'm also going to rename this tycoon to tycoon1 just so we know which tycoon is which. Then I'm just going to be adding a path as well as a fountain model. Once again I made in Blender using a tutorial. Here we go. So here's the paths and the fountain like this. And if you just drag the tycoon to match up with the path like this. And now I'll duplicate this tycoon to make sure it's the model. So control D, rotate it, drag it on the other side, and also make sure to name it tycoon2, like that. Once again, line up with the path, like this. So now we have two tycoons, and if you select these both, once again, control D, rotate, and we should match up with the path. And then we just need to rename these to Tycoon 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. I just quickly renamed them. And also you can add as many Tycoons as you want. For this I'm just going to be using 4. And now if we make a folder in the workspace. And name it to Map. Then just drag all your like decorations from the outside into it. There we go. So now I just have two folders in the workspace, one for the tycoons and one for the map. So if we click play and once we're in the game, you can see all the tycoons are here. We spawn in the map. Then we can claim the tycoon. Then get a dropper. Then once again, go to the server over here. Enter that command again. So game.players and then your username colon kick two brackets and it should reset tycoon like that then I'm going to be showing you how to add one more thing and that is how to buy cash and to do that if you go on the Roblox website so once you're on the website click on create and you should find your tycoon game here's mine if we click on the wheel and click configure experience then you should find a tab here saying developer products and click it. So to make a new product, click create new and we should go to this new page here where you get to change the name, the description and the price. So I'll just skip ahead once I've made mine. Okay, so once you've made your product, click create. Then you should see this little bar here saying product and then your ID has been created. So just select this ID Yours will be different from mine. So right click, copy, then go back inside Roblox. So once we're in studio, we just quickly need to make a button for this. 
So add in a new screen GUI. You can name it to like buy cash GUI. Then all you need to do is add in a button. So I'll skip ahead until I've made mine. Okay, so here's my GUI. Here's the button inside of it. All you need to do, click plus, add in a local script. So if you type in local player equals game dot players dot local player, then local market place service equals game colon get service brackets speech marks then market place service go down and type in local product id equals to then pasting your product id like that then type in script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect two brackets function two more brackets now type in market play service colon prompt product purchase to then player then comma and product id like that so what this does is once we click on the button then it'll prompt us a purchase to buy the product so close it off then click service script service click plus add in a script change the name of it to buy cash script once again do the variables so local market place service equals game colon get service brackets speech marks and then marketplace service then local product id equals to then pasting your id then marketplace service dot process receipt equals function brackets and then info then go down then type in if info dot product id equals to product id then go down then local player equals game dot players colon get player by user id like this then type in info dot player id then player dot leader stats dot cash dot value plus equals to and then this is how much cash you want to play to get per purchase so i'm going to be doing like a thousand like this then go down and type in return enum dot product purchase decision dot purchase granted and that should be a script done so close it off and click play so once we're in the game and then click the button you can see it asks if i want to buy it if you click buy you can see i now have a thousand cash i could buy it as many times as we want like this but guys this is going to be it for this video I think this might be the end of the Tycoon series. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below. In the description, you can check on Roblox group and Discord server. And I'll see you later. Bye!